happy Vlogmas day two. Today is December 2nd. I'm just sitting for the first time sitting down talking to you guys today. It's my lunch time. So I thought I'd go ahead and like kind of give you an update on my knitting from last night and what I got to do this morning before work. Um, so I did cast on this morning my um, Arabian Tales blanket. Um, I'm still on the beginner row. So as I'm going to go over this really quick. I'm using the full skein because I'm using Chelsea Lux two advents. My first one from 2019 and my second one from this year. You have to cast on a row and then bind off and that is your base layer. So I decided to go ahead and use the full skein as the base layer from the 2019 advent. And at the end, I'll just add on a bind off row of the full skein from this year. So it's a sparkly advent. Both of them are. I'm so excited. So I did the, it, the pattern Arabian Tales is like a stole. It's a large shawl or a wrap. And I basically cast on three times the amount for, I'm gonna make it three times as wide. So that is like 480 stitches, which is not too bad, but you cast it on, that was quick. It's the binding off, you have to bind off pearl wise, which is not a big deal. It's just, it's taking a while. <laughs> and plus I was working, so I got this far. Um, so here's the full skein. I think it's Mary is the colorway, I believe. Super sparkly and pretty, and it's knitting up very pretty. I love this. This will be the base that I work into for like the mermaid tails. And I want to get this going because I want to get the first two mermaid on the one from yesterday, which I have already wound up. I want to put it back in this little bag. This one was sugar cookie. I just love this color. Isn't that pretty? So sparkly. I don't know if you can see the sparkles, but it is intense. A sugar cookie. So that's going to go on. And then I have today's as well, which I have not wound up yet because Brooke, I don't know if you guys know this. I didn't show it yesterday. Maybe I'll show it today. When Brooke gets home from school, um, I let her try and guess the colorway names and she has a lot of fun with that. So today's, which I showed you in a little video, is super bright. And this one, I looked at the name, it's City Lights is the name. So I'll wind that up. And I just wind that up by hand. I put it on my Swift and then I just wind it up by hand really quick. I can't do that obviously with my other crochet wrap because I'm doing that held double. I'll show you how I do that. So here's what I got so far. Hopefully by the end of the day, I'll be able to, even if I'm editing, when I'm editing this, I'll be binding off. Although last night when I was editing, I was finishing my stripey socks from Woolens and Nosh, which I'll show you. I have not done any today. I'll probably end up doing that tonight when I'm editing because it's super easy and relaxing. I love that super pink, super pink stripe. And then you know when to stop when you get to the single white stripe, which I just pulled some out. So I hope I don't see the color. <laughs> I like to be surprised. Um, so it'll be like, it'll be this pink stripe and then it'll be like one row of white and then it'll be the next color. So it's so cool. So each day you're completely surprised on what the next color is going to be. And it kind of separates out the colors, which is not cool. It's really like a brilliant idea. So I got both those done. I have in my Red's Lady, another Red's Lady bag, which that snowman one, snowman one was on too. It's so big. I am doing the just cozy wrap no <laughs> it was on yesterday's i'll put it right here just cozy wrap something and that's crochet it was it's so relaxing so this one i actually have to wind up so because i'm pulling i'm holding double so i'm pulling from the inside and the outside so i put on my swift and i wound it up because you know this is how much i had left over the pattern says to do if you want to keep the rows even to do three rows and then switch colors so I have kind of probably a lot more left over because all I could do is do a cast on chain and then two rows and I definitely didn't have enough for a third. So I'll probably have even less than this on the next go around. Um, but yeah, so it's a zigzag, but, and I could tell, and she says it in the pattern and I could tell a little bit in the pictures that it's like, it's like slanted zigzags. So they're not super, they're not perfectly up and down zigzags. And I kind of try to lay it out like that way last night, but it's like a slanted zigzag. It's hard to tell right now. So cool. I love this. And it was so relaxing and so fast. Like this happened so fast. And today's colorway is this one. It's flawless, my dear, is the colorway name. Brooke should be able to guess that one. She guessed this colorway name because we watched Bridgerton together. She should be able to pick, 
fix this is pretty obvious and that'll go really nicely won't that that'll actually blend quite well so i'm excited about that one and i don't want to wind that up until brooke can guess <laughs> i don't think real says that we're kind of funny like that way um and i think that's it i have not cast it on merrily yet oh, rebecca's shawl pattern i want to cast that on i got all the big ones cast on so i feel like once i get those done i'll be able to get the merrily cast on because it's sunday shawl so hopefully i have that all done by this next sunday so i can start you know ahead of the game kind of thing and then i also got to work because i also have knitting gifts i need to work on so i can't just work on advents i tried to get as much done before advent season started like i have this breaking plaid shawl that i showed you guys in my last podcast i want to give you guys a little update it's huge i only have two more repeat well two repeats and a couple more rows to finish this repeat it is humongous. I'm kind of wondering if I, she wanted a shawl. I asked her what she wanted. My, my niece, she's in sixth grade. She wanted a shawl. So I'm doing the triangle shawl and I'm thinking she's not very tall. She's a sixth grader. This is going to be huge, but I want to also give her what she wants. So this is the triangle shawl. She wanted it in the Buffalo plaid colorway. And this is using double knitting, which I had to learn just for this. It was also one of my yearly knitting goals, so it worked out. The gummy bear is where I was on my last podcast. So the rows just keep getting longer. I only have two more, re after I finish this repeat of square, I have two more rows of repeat, two more repeat rows, you know what I'm saying? Left until I have the width I think it'll be. And I think it'll actually be a little long and a little wide for her, but it's she's gonna grow and I want her to keep using it. And so I'm giving her basically a full size one that I would want. Um, and it's super long on the front. That's why I'm worried that she's, she's so small. However, you know, you'll just be able to like, she'll just roll it and then go like this, basically. Like roll it a lot, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I hope it works out. And then my sister wants the same thing. Thank goodness not the exact same thing. Because this is, I, I started this one first because I knew this one would take the longest. It's a triangle shawl. She wants like a infinity cowl. And there is an option for that in this pattern. Um, so it's basically you cast on the whole circle and then just knit however many thickness you want. So that should actually go faster. And now that I have these repeats done, like I have it memorized, it should go really quick. But I want to get this done so I can cast on hers. I still need to finish my nephew's bear hat, Lincoln. He, I went ahead and I, you know, I was like, you know, it's, it's a little scratchy and I didn't want him not wearing it. He doesn't care about the color brown on the yarn. So I went and got the soft, super soft acrylic yarn that I love to buy from my, um, local yarn store. And it's still a good brown. I just like the other brown better. And this one is super soft, so I know he'll wear it. And it'll be super cute. So I just need to do that. And that doesn't take very long. I just need to do it. But I've been, like, so preoccupied with this massive beast. I hope she loves it. Um, so, yeah. I was working on this, too, while I was editing last night. This is easy to do now that I have it memorized. Um, but, yeah. I think that's it for my knitting progress so far. I want to cast on. To, I want to finish the blanket, get like a tail done, like one of those mermaid tails on my Arabian tails blanket. And I want to maybe cast on merrily. That's optimistic. Probably not merrily. Maybe tomorrow. Like I should only have to cast on like one new thing a day. <laughs> maybe. Because once you get them cast on, you know, you can pick it up and easily continue. It's just the cast on part takes a minute. So that's that's the challenge and I still need to cast on my desert vista dye works winter so or December socks which is fine I have all month but I want to like get those started because I can reach for them like my husband's sock that I'm making him for his um Christmas present like I haven't grabbed for those because I'm not the heel so I just need to be somewhere you know and I'm doing a fish lips kiss heel so it's not super hard but you know you're still at the heel and actually I was at the part where I had to add in the new color so I hadn't reached for them. So last night I did a couple rounds with the new color. So now I can easily reach for them whenever I have a few minutes and I just want to knit something really quick without thinking like when I'm editing or whatever, watching TV, which I haven't even been. It's been so chaotic, crazy. And then I'm going to probably try and take you guys, maybe not today. Um, yesterday I went out and like fed all the farm animals and like didn't take you guys with me. I just like do these things without, I'm like, oh yeah, I should probably have recorded some of that. You guys might want to see my chickens and my horse. I also have not cast on my zebra yarn scrappy swap yet. Aren't these awesome? So I don't know if you can see here. This is darker and this is a little lighter. It's got a little fade action going on. Loving it. So I've not cast that on yet because now 
I think I'll still do what I was planning on doing because Anna is super generous and gave me 10 gram skeins. <laughs> so I'm like, cause for the shawl, the litmus shawl or cowl, you only need five grams of each color. So now I have 10. So I'm like, Ooh, should I do something bigger? But what I think I'm going to do guys, I think I'm going to still make that use the five grams and then use a nut, the other five leftovers to make a bunting. So you know how I said in my last podcast, I was thinking like a pom-pom garland. I could use that to make one of those cool like flags for bunting and have that in the background on my wall. <gasps> so I can get two projects in with this advent swap. Wouldn't that be cool? But look at this. So pretty, Anna. And I just went ahead and put it in my Reds Lady crease bag that I just got yesterday. Um, because I realized I didn't have a bag for that. <laughs> and... Um, I do have a bigger, because this, this is probably not going to hold. I mean, it might. It's a medium. It's actually a pretty generous size medium. But um, I have another bag that's coming that's bigger. So in the meantime, I'm going to keep it in here while I start it. And then I'll I'll put in probably my, my nephew's bear hat or something in here when I'm ready. So it turns out I'm not very good at this vlogmas thing because I keep forgetting to to take you guys places. I just go places and I forget. Like I went to the store, which no one cares about that, but I also went to the yarn store. I mean, you guys might've wanted to see my LYS. Um, anyways, so I went in for some needles, which I got. I went in for these needles. I wanted them a little longer. They only had this size, but this is still gonna be good. And I wanted two more size ones um, for socks. I don't need them right now, but it's only because I'm not making the other ones, but I thought I would definitely use these anyway, so I might as well have them. Um, and then uh, my friend Linda, who works there in our knit night, she makes these stitch markers, and I just couldn't pass up. She finally had her Christmas ones out. Aren't those cute? So I walk into the yarn store. I tell Brooke I'm not going to buy any yarn because, you know, I definitely don't need any yarn. You guys all know that. And Brooke was like, it's okay if you, want, if you buy yarn. I'm like, I know, but I don't need it. And I walk in, and I look right at the people, Kenny and Linda, who are sitting in the front desk, I'm like, I'm not even looking at the yarn around me. I just need needles. That's all I need. And what is just sitting there on the counter waiting for me? Like literally, how can I turn away from that? They get the Dream and Color Yarn Pop-Up Club. And I have refrained from the last like two or three months because I've been trying to like cut back. And it's just sitting there, the December 2021 colorway looking at me. I said, who did this? <laughs> who did this to me? And they laughed at me and watched me buy it, basically. Isn't that pretty? And it's the cashmere base, which is so soft, of course. I mean, oh my gosh, so pretty. <sighs> I, need, I, need, I have a problem. <laughs> I have a serious problem. So pretty. Look at these colors. Oh my goodness. Beautiful. And then at the end, well, this is all I got there. Don't worry. But I got my order from Whiskers and Stitches. Came in the mail. Got that order. Oh, I forgot. I also got a crochet hook. Like last night when I said I did. I bought this brand in the other for the um, Ziggy Interrupted. And now that I'm holding double, I need a different size. So I got this one. So whiskers and stitches, let's go ahead and take a look. I basically emptied out her shop. I gave, she had a surprise update. I didn't even know. She's my friend, didn't even tell me until I saw it on Instagram. And I'm like, okay, let me look at her shop. And she had Christmas ones and a whole bunch of others. And so I basically loaded up my cart and was like, okay, I'll give everybody a chance. <laughs> because some of them she only had one of. And you know, I didn't want to have to like take them away from everybody. So I gave everybody a chance. I gave them like all weekend. And then I went back and bought whatever was left, basically. So let's go ahead and take a look. So now do you see what I mean, empty outer shop? She sent me some little treats and look, you guys, Brooke, Brooke's upstairs, she hasn't even seen this yet. Oh my gosh, Brooke's favorite color is yellow. I don't know, you guys probably know that, I'm not quite sure, but look. Oh my gosh, Brooke is going to freak out. I can't even really see, it. oh my gosh. Holly, isn't she the sweetest? Oh my gosh, I'll get Brooke's reaction when she comes downstairs. Okay. So, oh, so sweet, Holly. Oh my gosh, okay. Because if you guys don't know, Brooke turned 16 last month. Oh my gosh. Okay. 
look. <laughs> so first, I zoomed in on these. I've been looking for Christmas stitch markers. I've been like, you know, socking up on them. And look, there's a whole bunch of the Christmas lights. And I haven't seen anyone, any of them like this. And I love that she does these because these can either be progress keepers or stitch markers. I use them as both. These are really light too. Oh, these are great. And then look, this coffee one. I love coffee. That's so cute. And then this is supposed to be margarita, but I don't like tequila at all. I can't even handle like the smell like if my husband drinks it. So I think it looks more like a Cosmo. I like Cosmos. Okay. And then this, I know it's like a robin or a bluebird or something, but it looks kind of like a chickadee. <laughs> So cute. Then another Christmassy one. So, oh, this looks so much prettier in person. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty and sparkly. And then look, okay, so this is an upgrade to her um, gummy bears stitch markers, which I already have the set. Apparently, these are a little bit smaller, even though they still seem quite large. Like they're not tiny. And so they're a little bit smaller than our old batch in different colors. Look the white one the black one and the purple oh my gosh so there's way more I feel like than I got last time it's a little bit smaller in different colors I had to get those I love my gummy bears so just look whiskers and stitches oh <laughs> oh my gosh you guys love them check her out I just talked to my girl Holly from whiskers and stitches and she gave me a coupon code for you guys. So it's Sweet Pea 20 and that will get you 20% off through the end of December. So go ahead and check it out if you like any of these sets. Um, the Gunny Bear sets are really cool. I basically bought this whole order because of these initially. Um, she also has tons of other stuff. This is just what I grabbed. So go ahead and go check her out if you want. Sweet Pea 20. Well, first, look. Look what Holly sent you. Ooh, for Brooke. Happy belated. Belated. Did you say belated? Yeah. <laughs> it's belated. Do you know what that means? No. It means Ooh. late birthday. Oh, they're yellow. My favorite color. I know. Ooh. 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 I'm going to wear these for a Oh my gosh, I'm in love. I'm going to wear these tomorrow. I'm in love. I'm in oh my gosh, how many sets are there? There's three. Yeah. No, there's four. Wow. No, there's three. Ooh. I love, I love it, love it, love. Say thank you to Holly. Thank you, Holly. Love you. Smooches. Come on. All right, Brooke. Bridgerton's up first. All right, so it's this one. You hold, you can, oh, you can't look at it. You can not look. Don't cheat. I got you on video if you cheated. I got hints. I got hints yesterday. Okay, we'll look at the color. Is it a name? It is from the first episode. Again, let me see. And it's what the queen says to Daphne. A flawless. And? What's our sentence? It wasn't like just flawless mm -mm. or perfectly flawless. Mm -mm. Is flawless in it? Yes, it's the first word. Flawless, darling. Close. Flawless, dear? Yes. And there's another word. Flawless. Flawless, flawless dear, flawless. <laughs> no. Flawless something, dear. Flawless, my dear. Yep. Yay! Yeah. I was say you call yourself a fan. What do you mean? <laughs> I am a fan! <laughs>